Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in Dynamic CRM. I have around five years of experience working on Dynamic CRM as a developer plus consultant. I have worked on various topics on Dynamic CRM and I have shared all those topics with you as well in form of videos. This is my new video in continuation of that, in addition of that. And in this video, I would like to share that how can we debug the JavaScript libraries which we create in Dynamic CRM. For example, uh, I have an application and, and in, that, uh, in that application, there's an entity. In my account entity, I've added one JavaScript code and I would like to debug that JavaScript code like we used to do in .NET. So we don't need any third party tool for this. We can debug JavaScript code from within browser itself. So let's check the scenario and then we'll see that how can we debug the JavaScript libraries within Dynamics CRM by using simple browser. So first of all, let's switch to the Dynamics CRM org and here the script library which I have created, that's, I'll go to solution. Let me show you the script, JavaScript, which I would like to test. And under web resource, there is a script, JavaScript, and it's, and the code in this JavaScript is, I'm just going to verify that if the account name is less than five, if the length of account name is less than five, it will throw an alert message that the account name must be at least five characters long. So either we can display a message or we can display the value in a field as well. So as you can see, I have tried and tested this displaying the values in a field. So if you want, you can use this code to display the values in a field to display the error message in a field or if it is more, if it is greater than five, it will simply display one alert message, welcome to BSP trainings, or it will do nothing. So in this scenario, I just wanted to do if the cat, if the account name length is less than five, it will display one alert dialog box. So I'm going to, that's the code and else it will do nothing. So that's the code. Now I attach this code with the account so let's go to account account and let's test this whether this code is working or not first of all let's figure it out and then we'll see how to debug it so as you can see here it's mike if i write sam sam i got an error message account name must be at least five characters long don't go with this because it's a default message. So again, when I say, uh, if I write M-I-K Mike, I again got a message. It should be at least five characters long. And if I write P-E-T-E-R or P-E-T-E-R, there would be no message because it is around five characters. So if it is less than five, then it will throw error message. It will show alert dialog. Let me open the form and uh, show you that how to attach this. So I have attached that code with my account name. So I open this account name, properties. And events, in events, I've added the library, validate account, and on account change, I've added the function. Now let's have a look how to validate it, how to debug it. So as I've told you to debug this we would not be requiring any additional tool for this. We can debug it directly by using browser. So if you are using Internet Explorer or Chrome, you can simply press F12 or you can develop, you can open developer console because I'm using Firefox. So I click on developer and debugger. So when I click on debugger, this, the resources, the source of this page will open and I'm interested in the script, the JavaScript code, which we have at, attached to this particular page. So let, let's look for that script code. And the script code is 
script code is we need to search it because there are a lot of scripts attached new validate account why it's new validate account because that's the web resource name and when i select the web resource you can see on the left on the right side the script appears the javascript appear which is available with that particular code with that web resource so i would like to debug it i'm going to add one breakpoint at this point so i add a breakpoint at this point and i add a breakpoint at this point as well so when the when we uh, when i execute it and when the code reaches up to this point it will help us to identify what's the value and whether we are doing good or not so this is just for debugging it so i have added two breakpoints on two points now let's test it so for testing it we need to uh, run the code so a simple write sam and according to the scenario as because the length is less than 3 less than 5 sorry it will throw an error message so when i say run when i moved out you can see the debugger has been executed and we have been redirected to this debugging code and it's a breakpoint and see its account name is undefined there is no value defined to this arguments are there and if i i want to i want to resume this continue this because when i take my when i take my pointer on this when i when i refer to this there are no values defined to this right now it's a blank it's a uh, it's an unassigned value right now after this when we resume it we will have the see this so we have an account name sam and because it is less than 5 so it has been moved into the alert box and when i click next we can see this alert alert message account name must be at least 5 characters long so that's how we can debug the javascript libraries in dynamic crm this will help us to debug the large codes sometimes we have couple of codes uh, we have uh, we have a script which is very complicated which is too lengthy so we would like to add some breakpoints and we would like to see the uh, we would like to debug it that how it is going on and how it's how it is functioning actually whether is it uh, whether we'll be going to get the correct the correct output or not so that's the way for debugging the javascript libraries in dynamic cr that's all in this video i hope you enjoy this video if that's so don't forget to press like button if you have any comments you can share your comments on within comment box for customized training on dynamic crm whether it's a functional or technical training even for a job support you can connect with us keep watching have a nice day goodbye